In this video, I'll be sharing with you how to sell a covered call on the interactive brokers platform. And for this example, we'll be using meta platforms where you can see that I currently own 135 shares with an average price of $141.36. So Meta is trading at around $100. It released earnings earlier this week. Absolutely tanked the stock. And you can see here, my unrealized P&L is 5.8K. But while I'm holding the shares, I can generate income by selling covered calls. So we do this by selecting the options button at the top of the page. And what that does, it brings up Meta's options chain. Now, the first thing we need to do is set an expiry date. And we do that by using the dates across the top. I always prefer to sell options with seven days expiry. So I'm going to select the November 4th expiry and it will bring up the options chain. Now, because we're selling covered calls, we're focused on the call side of the options chain and just to show you, I think my average was what, 140, 141. So if I go all the way up to 140, 141, which is, you know, 40% away, as you would imagine when this loads, I can still get $4 premium, which I'm very surprised about because I really do not think that meta is going to go up by 40% in seven days. So I'll be taking a little bit of a risk and selling covered calls below my cost basis. Now, this is not something that I recommend uh, inexperienced or beginner traders to do, but I've been doing that for a while as with most people's portfolio that are down this year, I will be doing this. And if Meta does rise really fast, really quickly, I know and I'm comfortable with my ability to manage this actual position. So what I'll do is at the moment, trading at 100, I'll go relatively for this uh, sake of the example, I'm going to go and sell a covered call at $115. Now, this means that Meta has to rise by 15% in seven days, which again, with the volatility of the stock these days, it can do that. And I do expect Meta to rise over the next few weeks or so just to regain some of that gap it's created from its earnings. But the price is still far away for me to be able to manage this even if Meta jumps to 107, 108, 109, I can manage this position and roll the position up as Meta starts to recover. Or if it starts to recover, it could continue going down. So you can see here that between the bid ask and last, I'll get somewhere between $25 to $26. And that's still pretty good to get $26 for a 15% move inside a stock. So what we want to do is because we're selling a covered call, we want to hit sell. And then that brings up the sell order confirmation. Always want to be doing a limit order and therefore you can select the price. So the mid is 28. I'll probably get filled, but I'm just going to go with 27 so we can get this order filled so you guys can see this happen. Once you're ready with that order, we want to slide and submit the sell, which I'll do here. And you can see I've instantly got filled. So I probably, if I wasn't doing this on camera for you guys, I probably would have asked for, <clears throat> you know, 28, 29, $30. So what happens now is $27 has been deposited into my account and I'm immediately going to buy $27 of Meta, uh, Meta shares. So then again, I'm continuing to reduce my cost basis. And what's going to happen here is, is if by November the 4th, is at 115 or above, my shares will be called away. However, I will be managing this position. If it was to get close to that price, I'll be rolling up and out my position. If it continues to go up or go down or go sideways, this will expire worthless. And then probably next Friday, I'll do the same process again and keep repeating that and keep bringing in income. So I really hope you've enjoyed this video on how we've made $27. Again, relatively easy, relatively quick. I'm holding the shares for the long term, so I might as well start generating some income. There's some more videos up on the screen now. Hopefully you check those ones out and I should see you guys in the next video.